There you go. Nice. <laughs> Jersey Baseball Show rolls on with another episode of uh, Signing Week, uh, our, our look at the class of 2022, our generation next look at some of the guys in the area going to uh, play outstanding college baseball, and we're stretching the limits of New Jersey just a little bit, but we're here with Carter Jagiella, uh, Saverton High School over in Pennsylvania, but, but certainly enough area connection and staying local and going to Philly to play college baseball at St. Joseph's University. Congratulations, Carter, on your uh, your letter of intent day, and uh, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me on here. Absolutely. Let's uh, let's talk St. Joseph's baseball and how your recruiting journey went, and uh, you know how the Hawks got involved. Coach Hamburg and uh, Coach Wheeler, I'm sure, involved mm -hmm. in, in your recruiting, and and what attracted you to playing on Hawk Hill. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. So so. How did that go for you? You know, uh, what what worked out to, uh, you know, I'm sure you had other options, but but what stood out about, you know, the, the Hawks program? Uh, well, I mean, right as I, I uh, started talking to Coach Wheeler, he was the one that first reached out to me. Um, I he just he seemed like he truly cared about me and like all his players that are currently on the team. Um, so that that certainly stood out to me. Uh, and then we just we talked on the phone a little bit. Um, I was down south all summer, so I, I didn't have that much time to visit. So I had to work that into my schedule somehow. But when I came home and I had some off time, I went to visit and I loved it. Um, I the coaches were awesome um, and just the environment seemed like it would be fun to be a part of. Um, so that was definitely, definitely a, a big factor in my choice. Um, but after talking to them more, uh, we started talking about like team chemistry and everything. Um, and that's, that's always been a, a big thing for me. I've always loved my teammates. Um, so I, I wanted to see what, what he thought, uh, their team chemistry was like. Um, and he said they're a tight knit family. Uh, so that, that also, that also helped me pick where I wanted to go. Um, and it's close to home for me. It's probably only like hmm, 6 AM. You could probably get there in like 20 minutes say, and rush hour. It's like 45. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's weird. It's one of those places that it's tough to get to depending on the time of day. As soon as cars are out on the road, it's tough, but it's not that yeah. tough. It's still not bad. There it's an half. easy drive. Yeah. 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 Um, were you always, a, a, or were you a fan of any of the Philly schools growing up? And, you know, if so, which ones? Um, my brother played hockey. So I, I never was really like a, a huge fan of the Philly schools because he played at Millersville. So I, I always followed hockey um but i i never really thought of philly schools um but then towards high school i heard about one of the kids from satterton conlon wall he goes mm -hmm. to st joe's and um that's when it, it started to get on my radar a little bit more i always wanted to go down south but uh the schools that were looking at me down south i weren't necessarily schools that i wanted to go to um they were high level but I, I just felt like St. Joe's would, would be the right decision. Now, have you gotten a chance to to meet and get to know some of the other guys in the in the 2022 class? And, you know, I'm thinking we'd make our jersey tie in with uh, with with Ryan uh, Weingartner, obviously, from from down South Jersey. And yeah. he's, he's a great, great player. And, and another, you know, guy like you who's accomplished a lot and uh, you know, coming in with some, uh, you know, some high expectations and uh, maybe you got the chance to get to know Ryan. Uh, I, I've talked to him and I met him 
um, a couple weeks back. Uh, we went, we all went to watch one of their practices together. Um, but I mean, we have our Snapchat group chat that we can keep in touch with each other, uh, see how everybody's doing. There's a kid from Satterton that's also going to St. Joe's that I've grown up with since I was like, I was probably like nine or 10. Mm -hmm. um, Will McCausland is his name. So that'll be fun. And a kid from my summer team just committed to St. Joe's the other day. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's you cool. got this. You got to, uh, it's going to seem like, uh, seem like you're just kind of moving up with everybody together. It seems like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's good to get to know all the guys before. I think we have, I think we have like seven kids in our recruiting class now. Cause I think two brothers just committed and then, uh, uh, we have another kid, Frank. He's our other commit. So, yeah. Now you mentioned team chemistry being real important to you, and 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 as a catcher, you know, it's something I guess you probably can can, you know, in a way you're kind of expected to be the leader anyway, and get a little more chance to control that too. I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. It's it's everybody has their eyes on you, so it's always it's a great way to be a leader and. Uh, it's good to practice off the field as well. Yeah. So is that one of the things, you know, what do you like most about catching? Cause you've really got to be committed to, you know, so that's not a, you got to, you, you know, the nature of the position, obviously you're, you're in, you got to be in on and locked in on every pitch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for sure. What is it about the position that, that got you excited about it? Um, you know, and, and, and what do you like most about it? Um, I just like you said, I love being involved in every play. Uh, keeps my keeps my head in the game, um, and it's just like it's a position that you don't get a lot of recognition for. That's I don't I personally don't think you get a lot of recognition for it. But if you like make enough. a mistake or something or anything like that, I mean you get you get like ripped apart. But that's something I can deal with. So I. I just like it. It's physical. It's fun. I don't know. And, and you can make an impact in ways that if you have a bad catcher, say it, some, you can affect the game in ways that uh, good ways. If you're a good catcher, you can affect the, you can affect the game. So it's fun. Yeah. It's fun to throw kids out. Yeah. So that's, yep. that's a big part. Yeah. Not if you get to call pitches at any uh, on any of your teams too. It just uh, yeah. There's a lot yeah, of ways I've... to impact the game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now you mentioned your brother was a hockey player. He was uh, a goalie. Was that, ever, was that? I'm sorry. He was a goalie, so I, oh, I sort of followed in his footsteps. I was going to say that. You know, I didn't. I didn't know if you were had any thought to follow in his footsteps at all, but I guess you kind of did without doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, kind of indirectly, I did. Um, yeah. my parents didn't want me to play hockey cause they, it was too cold. So, uh, I mean, then I got into baseball and it's just as cold in the fall. So, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> so instead of yeah. ice hockey, you decided to play baseball in the Northeast. Yeah, exactly. So your parents don't go to a lot of like April or October or November games then. <laughs> uh, they'll be there, but they're always there. But I mean, they'll bundle up for sure. Yeah, I was gonna say the jackets on on jackets. Yeah. yeah. Um, what uh, what are your expectations for for this year, senior year? Satterton obviously has a, a great baseball tradition. Um, mm -hmm. you know, not just within the uh, suburban one league, but but you know, district one and beyond. Um, but also, what are, what's kind of your what do you feel like you need to work on to get ready to to make that impact, um, in the Atlantic Ten? Yeah. Um, I, right now, I mean, I just got to work, um, just lifting, hitting all that stuff that contributes to getting better. Uh, got to do that every day. Um, so, I mean, we're just going to go out at Satterton. We're going to have fun. We're going to have our, our good time together, um, play with a bunch of the kids that I played with when I was younger. Um, one last time for like one last season. So yep. that'll be, that'll be fun. Um, but we just want to win. I mean, this group of kids that I get to play with at Satterton this year, we've always had a winning mentality. Um, we've 
hated losing. I know everybody hates losing, but I feel like we hate losing more than other kids. Um, and it's just, yeah, we, we want to win. So, I mean, I feel like we'll have a great season. We have a lot of talent. We have a bunch of kids that are committed, uh, all different levels. So it'll be, yeah. it'll be cool. Definitely. A um, couple of random questions. We'll start off with one of the real random questions. We just passed Halloween. What was your favorite Halloween costume growing up as a kid? Hmm. I was the man with the yellow hat from Curious George when I was younger. <laughs> that was probably my favorite. Random question, got a random answer. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, favorite uh, pregame meal? Ooh. Uh, I'm, I've never been a huge eat before game kind of person but i always have some kind of energy drink before the game okay it's, it's like a signature thing what's your favorite energy drink then uh probably bang bang's a good one lots of caffeine so definitely the most up, but it's definitely the most popular answer from this series i think yeah yeah um one phone app that you couldn't do without i'd probably go with messages all right. Pretty common answer. Yeah. But that's that's most of my communicating. And without messages, I probably wouldn't be committed to St. Joe's right now. So really? Well, I mean they reached out coaches. from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um regardless of sport, what's your favorite professional team? Uh, the Flyers. All right. So so I'm, obviously I'm a big Philly guy though. I know I'm might not go over well with all these Jersey people. But I'm a big Philly guy. Yeah, and you're going to school in Philly, so that's all right. Yeah, yeah. It you know, I think, and and you know, you see, you, you down in South Jersey, you know, that's 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 like kind of just Philly East anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah, yeah. At least when it comes to sports teams. Um, website that you probably spend more time on than you should. <sighs> website, huh? It's an interesting one. I gotta think what I do at school. Uh, I play a lot of play a lot of computer games, but I I still get good grades. But I play a lot of computer games. So. Kind of coming and closing in on an answer here. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, I mean, I'll go with the safe answer. I'll just say Schoology because that's what our school runs off of. Tells me my grades, my homework, all that. So. All right. Um, one place that if you are you if you could go visit any one place you've never been to what would be your first choice portugal how come i want to go to portugal uh it sounds cool <laughs> i've wanted to go to europe so i don't know just sounds cool and the guy's cool beaches so does be a cool place to go that works um and and finally one thing that's on your bucket list um hmm. I guess skydiving. I think that would be pretty cool. Or I want to go to space. I think that would be oh, awesome. Wow. I've always been fascinated by space. So you I think it would be cool to go to space. And you, like, you exponentially grew <laughs> skydiving into, yeah. into something much bigger. Yeah. All right. So, so after the, the major league career, we get a little time as a, as a hockey goalie, and then we're off into space. Yeah, astronaut. Go to Mars or something. Wow. <laughs> Could have just chosen like a couple times around the earth. You want to go all the way yeah. out to Mars. Yeah. Like, hey, go big or go home, right? Exactly. Exactly. We appreciate the time, Carter. It's Carter Jagiella going to St. Joseph's uh, next year. And uh, we look forward to you doing big things in the Atlantic 10 and getting the Hawks to the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it.